heel with two dogs. It's Miko and Jupiter. Jupi and Miko, they're real good friends. They get along great. We're working on uh, heel, and both of them have been taught to heal individually, but now we're training them to work with each other doing heel. Look at these two. They're about the same size. It's boyfriend and girlfriend. Look at them. It's pretty fucking cute. Miko, Jupi. If you have two dogs and you're gonna walk them together, they need to heal. And for them to heal, you have to deal with them individually. You have to train them individually even before you attempt to do this, training them together. It's the same thing. We have cones set up to indicate to the dog that we're gonna make the turn. The dogs need to stay in position. There's no jockeying for position. Jupy's on the outside, Miko's on the inside. These are two dogs. These are two dogs that are friends. They like each other. So if, if Jupy starts sniffing her ass or something, I would tell him to knock it off. He needs to behave. And if somebody tries to distract your dog, like just what happened, and the dog screws up, it's the dog's fault. It doesn't matter that the human was distracting the dog. Jupy stayed in position, that's good. So it goes something like this. Jupe, here, come on, heal. You notice my leashes, they're, they're not wound up, they're not tied together or anything. These, they're like this, so if I had to correct the dogs, I could. You can't correct them both if one of them's screwing up. Never have two dogs tied together, don't do that in like a tandem thing. And we repeat this over and over, walking around the cones. If you're gonna work with your dog on heel, you do it in the yard. We work it in one, work the dogs in one small area. The distance of the cones is about 15 feet. Heel. I need to stay in position. They're doing pretty good. We've never worked on this before. Heel, heel. Now, Jude, heel. Get up there. Now it's raining, you know, so the dogs are shaking, but it doesn't matter. They still need to stay up with me, Miko, heel. Come on, Miko, heel. Oh, heel. There you go, good boy. You got it, heel. Heel. I say heel as I go around the corner, we'll go around the pole. Heel. Miko, go, no, heel. as we go around the turn. Heel, no, heel. Well, Miko, Miko has to speed up. We're gonna do a figure eight pattern now. Here. No. Pay attention, you. Here, good, here, good, here. Good, good. Now here, heel. Good, good. That's good. Good job. Good. Now here, heel. Here. Now here. Good. Ah.
phone's getting trashed, it's getting rained on. The thing that I wanted to say is if you use a dog walker, here, if you use a dog walker, your dog isn't going to heal. If more than one person in the family is walking the dog and that one person isn't telling the dog to heal, your dog isn't going to heal. You need to consistently tell the dog that it should heal throughout its life. The dog gets better as this as time goes on. But if there's anybody that's involved with the dog at any point that is not telling the dog to heal, they'll just stop doing it, they'll stop listening, you're gonna start having a lot of problems. Dog walkers are the fucking worst. They are the motherfucking worst. They're not gonna listen to you. How you find a dog walker that's gonna tell your dog to heal, good luck. Good luck. If you had your dog trained and you're gonna use a dog walker, it's not gonna go well. It's not gonna go well. You, you could try and train the dog walker, which is my suggestion, and you could ask the dog dog trainer, if you used a dog trainer, to help you train the dog walker. That's your best bet. But everybody needs to be on the same page. If one person is fucking up the dog, letting the dog do things, like letting the dog sit in the lap, your dog isn't gonna listen. That's just a fact. The most important things about healing with two dogs, or three dogs, or four dogs, or five dogs, they all heal on one side, okay? They all heal on the left-hand side and there is no jockeying for positions. Miko is on the inside and Jupy is on the outside. And if that changes, they need to go back into the proper position. That's the only way the dog's gonna know heal. The other thing that's important to know, if you do not use a potty command with your dog, your dog will not know heal. It'll just be, you're in, that's an indication you're just letting the dog sniff around. You walk up to the area, you know the dog's gonna go to the bathroom, you release it from heel by saying hurry, hurry. It's the way it's gotta be.